So Tom Hardy went from a DC movie to a Marvel movie. He turned down a DC movie and accepted a Marvel movie. Tom Hardy is a little bit complicated with comic movies, in my opinion. Anyway, that is not the point. The point in this video is that we got some breaking news for the upcoming Venom movie that is supposed to come out on October 5th of next year. And to be honest, I am a bit skeptical with this. I do enjoy all the Spider-Man movies, so... I'm in the middle of the whole Venom idea because been in development hell for a long time. It was supposed to come out somewhere this year, but because of the failure the main Spider-Man 2 faced, we didn't. So, Sony, since they made a deal with Spider-Man, it seems to, to be going well. We're getting a Black Hat and Silver something movie and the Venom movie next year. And they announced that they finished the script and that they're going to be shooting really soon so they might have not told us that they were making a Venom movie and that they were working on the script for a while and that's why they're filming much earlier than what we thought that they might film so right now we just need to know the casting of who could play Eddie Brock who is Venom now, in the original comics, Venom is one of the best villains and one of the best, baddest villains Spider-Man has ever faced. You compare, you have Joker and Batman. You have Iron Man and Mandarin. You have uh, Captain America, Red Skull. You have Ant-Man, Yellow Jacket, well, kind of, in the movie, kind of. Yeah. Um, you have Superman and Lex Luthor, you have Hulk and Abomination, and when you go to Spider-Man, you get Spider-Man and Venom. Like, those are the two people who you see. And, I just love Venom as a character. Not only does he look cool, and is one of the badass, one of the best villains, of all time, in my opinion, he is one of the best. Had one of the best character backstories ever. He might look like a strong, tough man. He could be like a cliched villain, but they gave him such a good backstory and such good reason to hate Spider Man that you really kind of sympathize with him in some ways when you see him in the Venom suit. Because in the Venom suit. He is more of a anti-hero. He hates Spider-Man, and that's the only one he wants to face. He's a he's like a dangerous protector, and he doesn't hurt anybody else. He just is after Spider-Man and Spider-Man only. That is his goal. So I do not know anything about the Venom movie. I do not know the synopsis. Um, it's not officially real yet, but now the casting of Eddie Brock has been announced, and it is official that Tom Hardy, who was in movies like Legend, The Dark Knight Rises, and Mad Max Fury Road, which is one of my favorite movies of all time and one of my favorite performances from Tom Hardy in The Revenant. He is added for this new Venom movie. Lately, he has been taking very good projects. So, he's a smart guy. So, it's going to take brain for him to accept this. So, either one, Sony is trying to do their best to, well, make a cohesive story and make a good movie. And... Tom Hardy accepts the fact that they're actually doing a good job or just the money because some actors just do it for the money. So, yeah.
anyway, now that I out of the way, who were my thoughts on this new casting ad that you brought? I don't think they're the much perfect actor to portray him. Um, he's so bulky, he's huge, he could embody Venom, because Venom is such a huge villain. You see the portrayal that that kid from that 70s show, and it just, what the fuck? Oh, he is not a good Venom. That is not what Venom is supposed to be portrayed as. He's not a good villain in Spider-Man 3. As much as I like that movie, I do not like Venom. That is a huge betrayal of the character. So they're writing this Venom as the bulky badass. And they got a really good actor. I think Tom Hardy will knock it out of the park. Seeing films like Inception and The Dark Knight. Well, not really The Dark Knight Rises. But... Many films of his that I've seen so far, I think he'd be a good, a really good Eddie Brock. He portrayed, uh, he could portray that hardcore photographer as we all know and love. I just love this casting, okay? I don't think there's anybody else better to cast as Eddie Brock. I think this is on point. Right now, I have much more hope for this Venom movie than before, and I'm actually interested to see where this film goes. I'm going to be skeptical. I mean, I did not like the last portrayal of Venom, so yeah, we'll see what happens in next year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.